Good morning, Beltline Tigers. This is Mrs. Hopton, your principal with the morning announcements. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Texas Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Beltline Pledge. I am proud to be a Beltline Tiger. I'm one of the best and brightest. I can do anything I set my mind to. I pledge to work hard, respect myself and others, make good choices, and believe in myself at all times. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Well, good Wednesday morning, Beltline Tigers. What a wonderful day to be back at school. We are ready to work hard today on this wonderful Wednesday. And we have enjoyed our day of voting and taking care of our of our civic duty to, uh, yesterday. I sure, certainly enjoyed myself. Uh, I had voted early. But I did enjoy just watching the election results coming in. We don't know exactly who our president is yet. Uh, but we definitely had a great time just watching and being fascinated by how the results were coming in uh, from one state to the next. And so hopefully your parents voted and took care of their civic duty. I wanted to commend our fifth graders and Ms. Fry who uh, did a lesson on Friday on the Electoral College, and so it was fascinating. Ms. Fry, please send me that video uh, that you shared with the students, and hopefully those students were able to try to get their homework done, but they're not going to be able to complete it for all the states, Ms. Fry, because we don't know the results for all the states. So I know you have until Friday to get that turned in, fifth graders, and we'll see if all the results are in by Friday. So just fast, a fascinating process, but this is democracy. This is what we do here in the United States, and hopefully you can learn from what you've seen happening, playing out in our nation on uh, yesterday. All right, we do have a couple birthdays that we want to celebrate, and on Monday, I didn't have my birthday list, but I did have two students who celebrated their birthdays, and that was none other than Jace Blair Williams. And Jace walked up to me today, uh, on Monday and was like, Miss Hawthorne, did you say my birthday? I didn't know. I didn't know, Jace. But I'm saying it now. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you, Elijah Miller. I saw you too. Uh, happy belated birthday. And then on yesterday, we weren't here. But Nyla Wilson and Alea Burton celebrated their birthdays. So happy belated birthday to you two. You all had a day off from school. So hopefully you, hopefully you got outside and enjoyed the beautiful weather and enjoyed your birthday. And today we have two students celebrating their birthdays. And that's DeHazel Wilson and Sydney Thompson. Happy birthday, ladies. We hope that you had a great day or will have a great birthday on today. So a happy birthday to those young ladies on today. Don't think I have any staff members celebrating a birthday, but we do have a couple reminders. Um, we are preparing for our Veterans Day celebration. We want to know who our veterans are. We know that I know I have some parents who are veterans. I know that we have um, maybe one staff member who's a veteran, and we want to take time to celebrate all of our veterans uh, with a drive-through celebration on November 11th. So please make sure that you are uploading their names in our uh, Google link that was submitted on the electronic parent newsletter. So make sure you're talking to your parents. If you know you have an uncle or an aunt who has been in the military, ask them to go online into our electronic newsletter and submit their name so that they can be invited to drive through. And we just have just a little celebration that we want to provide for our veterans. Thank you for your service, veterans. Also, as a reminder, please make sure that your parents are checking during the daily COVID check, asking you those questions about your temperature and how are you feeling and things like that. In other words, please don't come to school sick. 
Because if you come to school sick, as soon as we, you know, find out that you're sick, you have to go to the nurse's clinic. So make sure that you and your parents are working on that. You, if you don't feel well, you let your parent know. Also, we need those uh, attendance notes. If you are out, parents have got to email those attendance notes to Mrs. Fulbright. No longer are you bringing notes to school and so on and so forth. You've got to email that out to Mrs. Fulbright. We will have a jean day on Friday for $1. If you're here face-to-face -face and you'd like to wear jeans on Friday, you can do that for $1. And that's for staff members as well. And then to our third through fifth graders, you should be preparing for the benchmark testing that will happen next week. And so um, that will be covering math, reading, writing, and science. So make sure that you are preparing for that and you are practicing how that will look online. Okay, so this is a little different, um, but we do want us to do our very best on these assessments. All right, students, remember our hope for you is to take ownership for your learning and to work hard each and every day towards self-sustaining success. So when I say own it, you say work it. Own it! You know what? I think I heard you first grade. Let's have a wonderful, hardworking Wednesday. <laughs>